this is the next video of uh, polynomial polynomial class 10 CBSC board and Jack students also Jharkhand Academic Council so polynomial Hindi mein aap polynomial ko bahut pad kehte hain so now the third is cubic polynomial cubic polynomial cubic polynomial नॉर्मल इस वैसे पॉलीनोमियल को कहेंगे जिसका डिग्री आपका 3 होता है या जिसका हम लोग कहते हैं घात 3 होता है तो क्यूबिक पॉलीनोमियल का एक एग्जांपल लेते हैं लेट y is equal to x y is equal to x cube minus 9x and we will draw the graph of this and we will see the zeros of the polynomial so x i am taking common so it is x square minus 9 so now x it is x square minus 3 square so x a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b so x plus 3 और x minus 3 ये हुआ अब इसको हम लोग इक्वेट करेंगे x is equal to 0 पहला हो गया first, first uh, 0 of the polynomial second beta जो होगा वो आपका निकलेगा x plus uh, plus 3 is equal to 0 then x is equal to minus 3 so this is this is beta uh, this is beta this is taken as beta suppose uh, x minus 3 is equal to 0 then x is equal to 3 so it is a gamma uh, gamma so there are three zeros of the polynomial if we will substitute here uh, the value of x 0 then polynomial give the 0 and if we will substitute x is equal to minus 3 then it is also given 0 if we will put x is equal to 3 the value will be 0 so we will take a table over here uh, why a cubic polynomial has at most three uh, zeros suppose it is x and, and suppose it is fx so fx or y y is equal to fx so when x is 0 y is equal to c y is equal to x cube minus 9x so 0 cube minus 9 into 0 so 0 so 0 similarly if we will take 3 x is equal to 3 so 3 cube minus 9 into 3 so 3 cube is 27 minus 27 so it is 0 if we will take minus 3 so again we are getting uh, minus 3 whole cube and minus 9 into minus 3 so it is minus 27 plus 27 so it is coming again 0 if you will take any other value suppose I am taking 1 so what is coming y is equal to x cube minus 9x so if we will take 1 1 cube minus 9 into 1 so 1 minus 9 it is equal to minus 8 so it is minus 8 if we will take minus 1 minus 1 so what is coming so minus 1 ka whole cube then minus 9 into minus 1 so it is minus 1 minus 1 cube is equal to minus 1 and then it is plus 9 so it is plus 8 it is plus 8 now from these five values we will draw a graph you see the graph whole the value of x is going 
तो दिस इज वाई ओ वाई डैश एक्सिस एंड दिस इज एक्स ओ एक्स डैश एक्सिस सो आई एम टेकिंग हियर वन टू थ्री देन माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री हाइएस्ट इज एक्स एक्स सपोज हियर आई एम टेकिंग वन नॉट वन टू आई एम टेकिंग टू फोर सिक्स एट यू कैन टेक वन आल्सो बिकॉज द पेज इज लेस सो नाउ दिस इज माइनस टू माइनस फोर माइनस सिक्स देन माइनस एट सो इफ यू विल टेक एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वी विल गेट जीरो जीरो सो वन ऑफ द पॉइंट वी आर गेटिंग जीरो जीरो दिस पॉइंट जीरो जीरो x is equal to three, x is equal to three, then y is equal to zero. So x is equal to three, y is equal to zero means this. So this is zero zero, and this is three zero. And when x is equal to minus three, when x is equal to minus three, y is equal to zero. So again here minus three zero. So we are getting here minus three zero. If x is equal to one. x is equal to one in the table you see y is equal to minus eight so it is minus eight one minus eight so in this uh, below one minus eight and when x is equal to minus one y is equal to plus eight also which is plus eight when when x is equal to minus one y is equal to plus eight this is coming so if we will join all these points what we are seeing see we have to join free diagram so in this way it will go so here we see that uh, this uh, polynomial intersect x axis at three different point so this is the graph of y is equal to x cube minus 3 minus 9x minus 9x so uh, this cubic polynomial intersects intersects x axis x axis at three different point three different points points therefore it has three zero it ha uh, it has three zero at most it has three zero so cubic polynomial has so every cubic polynomial every cubic polynomial has at most three zeros three zeros every quadratic polynomial has at most two zeros every linear polynomial has one zero every linear polynomial has exactly one zero so here the uh, the graph of the cubic polynomial intersect at three different point in x axis therefore it has three zeros so this is the graphical representation of cubic polynomial i think you will understand it now we are coming to the next um, topic relation between here we see now we are coming the relationship a uh, relation ship between zeros and coefficient coefficients of 
polynomial polynomial so now first of all we am taking the general form quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial दुई पद इसको बोलते हैं क्वाड्रेटिक पोलिनोमियल को देवघात देव पद क्वाड्रेटिक पोलिनोमियल क्वाड्रेटिक पोलिनोमियल जनरल फॉर्म ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी वेयर ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज वेन ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो इट बिकम्स लीनियर पोलिनोमियल एंड ए बी सी बिलोंग्स टू द रियल नंबर ये हो जा रहा है तो यहाँ पे कॉफिशियंट 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 ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर इज ए एक्स स्क्वायर में कितना मल्टीप्लाई है तो ए तो कॉफिशियंट कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स ये आपका एक्स में कितना मल्टीप्लाई है तो ये आपका बी है एंड कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म यहाँ पे लास्ट टर्म है विच डज नॉट हैव एनी वेरिएबल ये सी है नाउ इट हैज टू टू जीरोस सो अल्फा एंड बीटा आर टू जीरोस ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक पोजिनल क्वाड्रेटिक polynomial it it does not mean every time two different uh, zeros will come uh, because in quadratic polynomial sometimes they both the root uh, both the zeros are same so sum of sum of sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a this is the formula you have to learn and the sum product of zeros product of zeros of quadratic plus c by a so this is so now we are doing the one of the question related to it first question i am taking question number 1 find the find the zeros of quadratic polynomial polynomial i'm just write poly polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 and verify verify its कॉफिशियंट कॉफिशियंट्स को वेरीफाई करेंगे कॉफिशियंट जान रहा है क्वाडेटिक पोलिनोमियल का सोना सोल्यूशन सोल्यूशन इज क्वाडेटिक पोलिनोमियल क्वाडरेटिक पोलिनोमियल इज इक्वल टू x square plus 7x plus 10 if you will com compare this polynomial is taken as px x square plus 7x plus 10 this is compare with the standard form ax square plus bx plus c so a is 1 here is 1 and b is equal to 7 and If we will compare, we will get c is equal to ten. So a is what coefficient of a is the coefficient of x square, b is coefficient of x, and c is constant term. Now we find the zeros of this polynomial. So for that, x square plus seven x plus ten. We will do the middle term splitting. So five to the ten, you know. So x square plus five x plus two x. Plus ten, so it is equal to x common, x plus five, then two common, so x plus five, then x plus five, 
into x plus 2 so equate x plus 5 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 5 so this is suppose that it is the first 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0 so it is equal to minus 2 it is taken as beta so now we have to check suppose the relation between the sum of the roots is equal to minus b by a so left hand side is alpha plus beta so alpha is equal to we have taken minus 5 and beta is equal to we have calculated minus 2 so it is minus 7 plus minus minus so it is minus 7 so and the right hand side is it is minus b by a what is the value of b b is equal to 7 so it is minus 7 and a is equal to what so a is equal to 1 it is 1 so minus 7 so here here we see that both values are same therefore left hand side is equal to right hand side it means that we have verified alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a so it is verified so you can find out the uh, zeros of the polynomial by factorization of the middle term in quadratic uh, polynomial and after that you have to verify these two relationship alpha plus beta is equal to this and second is alpha into beta is equal to c by a so here again i have to take left hand side it is equal to alpha into beta alpha is equal to what alpha is equal to minus 5 and beta is equal to minus 2 so it is 10 plus 10 and rhs rhs is equal to c by a so alpha into beta is equal to c by a this is the formula uh, derivation of formula I have done in the other video so c is equal to 10 here c is equal to 10 and divided by 1 so it is also equal to and so both are same you are seeing so left hand side and right hand side both are uh, equal so you, uh, it is verified it is verified so both the um, coefficient you will have to verify first of uh, first you have to verify the alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and second you have to verify alpha into beta is equal to c by a uh, first of all uh, the first part of the question is find the zero of the polynomial and second is uh, verify the um, coefficient or uh, verify the um, the relation between the zeros and their coefficient so this now i am taking the other question Other questions is find the zeros of the, find the same type of question find the polynomials next question I'm doing which is find question number two find the the polynomial we have to find the polynomial find the polynomial where the sum and product of zeros sum and product of zeros are are minus 3 and 2 this is the NCERT NCERT RT example ये example से हैं NCERT का आप लोग देखेंगे तो zeros are given so here solution so 
solution we have to find the polynomial so polynomial is equal to two zeros are given it means that it is alpha it is taken as beta so two zeros are given means polynomial is quadratic polynomial so quadratic polynomial is equal to k under bracket um, x minus alpha into x minus beta this so this if you will multiply this to it is x square minus beta x minus uh, alpha x plus alpha into beta this simple multiplication so k is constant here here x square and then take minus x common beta plus alpha and then alpha beta this you don't have to you will just write the formula so a k x square minus beta plus alpha can be written as alpha plus beta x plus alpha into beta so alpha is equal to minus 3 and beta is equal to 2 it is given in the question according to question so put the value put the value of alpha in here in one in one so k into x square minus 3 plus 2 x plus minus 3 into minus 2 so it is equal to k x square minus it is minus 1 x minus 6 so k x square plus x minus 6 so where where k is constant k is constant so if you will substitute over here x is equal to minus 3 so minus 3 square means 9 and minus 3 uh, so it will become plus 6 minus 6 it will cancel out it will give the value 0 so what will be the value of k does not matter but the, the polynomial is this so quadratic polynomial we will have to find the quadratic polynomial because here uh, the uh, quadratic polynomial uh, has two zero so this is the quadratic polynomial so this is the answer of the question so now you have understood this now i am coming to the next question which is based on uh, cubic polynomial so first of all uh, cubic cubic polynomial cubic polynomial so in cubic polynomial uh, we know that the cubic polynomial is such type of polynomial in which the degree is 3 so let px be the cubic polynomial of the variable x so it is ax square ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d here is cube so this is the general form a is not equal to 0 a b c and d are real number real numbers or constant you can say so it has how many number of uh, zeros so first is first value of x suppose alpha so there are three zeros and it is beta and then uh, third value will be taken as gamma and the sum of the zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a as in the quadratic polynomial and product of the zero alpha into beta into gamma it is equal to uh, minus d by minus d by a so this you have to remember and now product of pairwise zero sum of the product of pairwise zero alpha beta uh, beta gamma 
then alpha gamma it is equal to c by a it is equal to c by a so this is the formula now we have to find out the uh, question related to it uh, from the uh, from the cubic polynomial we will find out the question uh, question related to it which is given in the NCRT book so now next question I have taken next question will be question number three I think find uh, find the find the zeros find the zeros of polynomial polynomial 2x cube minus 5x square minus 14x plus 8 and verify and verify the relationship the relation ship between zeros and coefficient coefficients zeros and coefficients of polynomial polynomial so as we see that here this is the sorry the coefficient of polynomial so here we see that it is the uh, 2x cube minus 5x square minus 14x plus 8 so it has 3 as a power so it is a cubic polynomial so let fx is equal to which is a cubic polynomial cubic polynomial which is 2x cube minus 5x square minus 14x plus 8 this is the polynomial we will have to find out their three values of uh, three values of x means x is equal to alpha x is equal to beta and then x is equal to gamma so here you just see this is the variable term this is also a variable x is exist over here and this is the constant term so just write down the constant constant terms so constant term is equal to 8 and write all possible factors of constant term all possible factors of constant terms so here plus minus 1 hoga once plus se bhi divide ho raha hai or minus bhi divide ho raha minus 1 se bhi divide ho raha then plus minus 2 then plus minus 4 and then plus minus 8 itself so these are the factors you have already so here we will hit and trial uh, one of the zero we will find out first so suppose uh, i am taking x is equal to 1 now f 1 is equal to here we will put 2 into 1 cube minus 5 into 1 square minus 14 into 1 plus 8 so it is 2 uh, then 5 minus 14 and then 8 so if you will this is 10 minus uh, 14 so minus 4 so it will become minus 9 so it is not equal to 0 so x is equal to so x is equal it is not equal to 0 so it is x is equal to minus 1 is not the 0 so suppose i am putting minus 1 so minus 1 f minus 1 so here 2 into minus 1 cube minus 5 into minus 1 square minus 14 into minus 1 plus 8 so it is minus 2 cube 
यहाँ पे माइनस वन का स्क्वायर प्लस वन सो माइनस फाइव सो दिस इज प्लस फोर्टीन एंड दिस इज एट सो माइनस सेवन प्लस ट्वेंटी इट इज थर्टीन इट इज आल्सो नॉट इक्वल टू इट इज नॉट जीरो सो नाउ वी आर पुटिंग द अदर वैल्यू एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू आई एम पुटिंग एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू सपोज सो इट इज टू माइनस टू का क्यूब एंड माइनस फाइव माइनस टू स्क्वायर माइनस फोर्टीन इंटू माइनस टू एंड देन प्लस एट सो इट इज एट माइनस एट सिक्सटीन सो दिट इज फोर इंटू फाइव ट्वेंटी एंड दिस इज प्लस ट्वेंटी एट एंड देन दिस सो हियर वी आर गेटिंग माइनस थर्टी सिक्स प्लस थर्टी सिक्स सो वी आर गेटिंग जीरो सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द जीरो सो दे आर फॉर यू विल ब्रिंग एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू आई हैव टेकन सो यू विल ब्रिंग माइनस टू इन दिस साइड सो एक्स प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो दे आर फॉर एक्स प्लस टू इज वन ऑफ द फैक्टर फैक्टर ऑफ टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर्टीन एक्स प्लस एट सो वी विल डिवाइड हेयर बाय दिस बाय दिस टू गेट ए क्वाड्रेटिक पोलिनोम सो एक्स प्लस टू सो हम लोग डिवाइड करेंगे इसको टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर्टीन एक्स प्लस एट यहाँ पे डिवाइड करेंगे तो इट इज टू एक्स स्क्वायर सो टू एक्स क्यूब एंड देन इट इज फोर एक्स स्क्वायर यहाँ वी विल सब्ट्रैक्ट हेयर इट इज कैंसल आउट सो नाउ इट इज नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर्टीन एक्स प्लस एट सो अगेन हेयर इट इज माइनस नाइन एक्स सो माइनस नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर द सिंपल डिविजन प्लस माइनस एटीन एक्स एंड देन इट इज प्लस इट विल कैंसल आउट एंड दिस इज इट इज इट इज इक्वल टू फोर एक्स प्लस एट अगेन इट इज प्लस फोर सो नाउ प्लस फोर हेयर आई एम टेकिंग प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस एट multiply and then it is cancelled so uh, it is zero so therefore the polynomial it is equal to uh, from the division algorithm 2x cube minus 5x square minus 14 uh, x plus 8 it is equal to x plus 2 into 2x square minus 9x Plus four. This we are getting. So we will just find out the uh, splitting the middle term. We will get this is the quadratic one. So two x square minus eight x uh, minus eight x minus one x plus four. We can write and we will take the another page here. So this is the first part. Just see. So it is p x is equal to x plus two, and here we will take the two x common. So x minus four minus one common here from these two. X minus four. and then it is x plus 2 x minus 4 is the common factor from here th these two terms and then 2x minus 1 so all the linear factor we are getting so first of all x is equal to minus 2 so this is taken as the one of the uh, one of the zero and x minus 4 is equal to 0 you have to equate 
x is equal to 4 so beta is equal to 4 and then 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so gamma is equal to so here you will find that x is equal to 1 by 2 so gamma is 1 by 2 now verification part verification so we know that alpha plus beta plus gamma left hand side is equal to minus b by a so alpha is equal to minus 2 beta is equal to 4 and it is 1 by 2 so this and this will give 2 and 1 by 2 so it is equal to 5 by 2 and now right hand side is right hand side is equal to minus b by a so minus a b c here uh, what are the value of a b c and d so a is equal to here is 2 b is equal to minus 5 c is equal to minus 14 and d is equal to 8 this we can equate from the standard form so minus b so minus minus 5 divided by 2 so it is 5 by 2 so these are verified so here it is left hand side is equal to right hand side so we have verified so i think it will be clear now product of roots alpha beta gamma again you will take this as left hand side so product of root is equal to alpha is uh, here alpha we have calculated alpha is minus 2 beta is 4 and gamma is 1 by 2 1 by 2 2 2 cancels so it is minus 4 so now rhs will be uh, product of root is equal to c by a it is c by a so it is equal to c by a c is equal to what c is equal to minus 14 and a is equal to 2 it is here alpha into beta into gamma so not c by a minus d by a minus d by minus d by a so minus d d is equal to minus 8 so it is sorry minus 8 by it is 2 so it is equal to uh, here it is minus 4 and minus d by a so d is equal to it is given here d is equal to uh, only d by a so product of root is equal to d by a so only d by minus d by a so it is it will check i will check it so it is 4 i think so here is a little bit confusion is created so alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha into beta into gamma alpha is equal to what alpha is equal to we have calculated alpha is equal to minus 2 beta is equal to 4 and gamma is equal to 1 by 2 so it will cancel out and this are coming and minus d by a so minus d by a or only d by a i think mm d by a except d by a so yahan pe d by a so it is again minus 4 so it is verified so left hand side is equal to right hand side so it is verified so now we are coming uh, to the other one uh, here alpha plus beta alpha into beta into gamma is equal to d by a so this is verified now third one is third one is left hand side is alpha beta beta gamma and alpha alpha gamma alpha gamma alpha so alpha is equal to uh, alpha is equal to minus 2 beta is equal to 4 the 4 and gamma is equal to 1 by 2 and gamma is equal to 1 by 2 alpha is equal to minus 2 so it is minus 8 so it is 2 and this is minus 1 so it is minus 6 
it is minus 6 plus 1 it is minus 5 this is taken as minus 5 and RHS RHS it is equal to minus a c by a c by a so it is equal to c by a c is equal to minus 14 and a is equal to 2 so it is minus 7 so here uh, alpha is equal to minus 2 and beta is equal to 4 beta is equal to 4 and gamma is equal to 1 by 2 so he uh, so um, 2 here minus 8 plus 2 minus 6 and then minus 1 so it is minus 7 so it is minus 7 so here both are same so it is verified verified it means that alpha beta beta gamma and gamma alpha is equal to c by a here we have verified this and now this in this uh, part there is a problem so again i am doing this this one so here left hand side is equal to alpha beta gamma so alpha is equal to alpha is equal to i think it is minus 2 beta is equal to 4 and gamma is equal to 1 by 2 it is cancel so it is minus 4 minus 4 and then rhs in rhs uh, it is minus d by a minus d by a it is minus d by a so d is equal to 8 so minus 8 and a is equal to 2 so 2 so it will cancel so minus 4 so both are same so verified so in this way you will have to find out the roots in finding the square uh, in finding the zeros uh, you have to be very careful and heat and trial method will be used over here and if any other shortcut method then i will uh, uh, explain in the next video uh, so uh, this and this is the question based on the cubic polynomial and one of the questions i will take in the next video because the battery is going to be very low so division algorithm and uh, also the other thank you uh, try to understand it if uh, do you have any difficulty write in the comment section please like share and subscribe and please uh, hit the bell button for the further notification of my video thank you bye bye